these two played up at Encore last week, and Pokalem took it. Mm, I can believe, I believe it. that is what happened. I could be misremembering because I'm a stupid little boy. No, but. no, no, no. See, regardless of what it's going to be, we're going to see a lot of projectiles going back and forth, I'm sure. Oh, that was a really good follow in there. It's very common to shield that. <laughs> Chases him all the way off stage, but doesn't quite get it. <laughs> John is trying to hit him with the header on the way over. All right. Playing out neutral a little bit here. There's a bit of an advantage for Pokalam in the mid range because John, if he wants to set up any projectiles, he has to make a little bit of a commitment. So I will say, uh, I was told that this matchup can be rough for Wee Fitter. Wee Fit, because if he grabs that and keeps it, if he takes the soccer ball, Wee Fit loses the soccer ball. Oh, I see. It's similar to like Diddy Kong Banana. As far as I understand it, we might see that play. Already, Pokalam kind of threw it out. I think he wants to also still have access to his pocket to catch mm -hmm. sun salutations and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. sun, but sun salutations also very strong on this one, stronger than Samus Charge saw it. So reversing that with pocket could be a very powerful tool, especially because there are conversions to pocketed uh, yeah. projectiles. Although Samus Charge saw it isn't even a kill move. It's a combo starter in this game. Yes. All right. I don't know who decided that Keeping was going to be the play. I, I do like the use of the crouch there. We fits crouch very low, and you can move while doing it. All right. At the same time, though, I love the fact that Pokalem was ready for it. Pokalem instantly threw out that little pot because that can hit a crouching Wii Fit, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets him with the oh. down tilt. That does two frame, that does hit below the no, ledge. No, he had no invincibility. Oh, that's right, he that as no well. And that was a deep breathing down tilt. That would not have killed without, without uh, you know, some, uh, some high impact lungs. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was crucial that John Numbers was getting that. And double up tilt, sure. Excuse me, buffs 51%? by Sakurai? All right. Yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> you get hit by, this isn't even deep breathing. If this was deep breathing, he'd be dead. <laughs> All right. Actually, very good air dodge on that one because we've seen John uh, kind of run up, shield that, and grab. Um, so that one, no grab available. Oh, oh no, you don't need those, though. How's he going to do it? Oh, come on. <laughs> the people came here for a show. No, no. Don't just okay. axe him in the face. It's an execution. <laughs> okay, that's ah! fair. That's Took fair. his head All off. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the run up grab, very nice on there. Uh, Lloyd Rocket does not have a hitbox until a little bit into the animation, having it up. So that's a good chase by there. Good John dead. racking on this extra percent. 132 looking pretty strong with deep breathing. A lot of stray hits will kill at this point. Or no, that's not deep breathing. That's sun salutation. There's, There's deep breathing. There's the deep breathing, and yeah. Oh, um, yeah, as you said before, the uh, the crouching from Wii Fit, not only does it allow her to dodge things like those slingshots, but the lower profile means that if uh, Pokemon wants to be hitting with it, like any kind of aerial, it's going to force a very specific timing mm -hmm. that numbers can anticipate much more easily. Okay. Actually, trades with the Lloyd Rocket. Interesting. All right, catches the volleyball, tosses it right back. Playing the mid-range a little bit. The wood is in play. Actually, knocked it out with his nair. 178, very fortunate percent to be blind. I'm surprised that Numbers hasn't tried to go for some deep breathing. I mean, he's been knocking Pokalam off stage. That's what, what against we've been at higher percents, that's one of the really scary things, is that if she hits you even a little bit, you get knocked off stage, and she has all the time in the world to take a nice deep breath. I think right now it's because he doesn't want to make himself extra vulnerable when he's already at a percent where pretty much anything would kill at this point. All right, she's in off stage with the pairs a little bit. Actually gets the volleyball. Tree is in play. He <laughs> tossed the soccer ball out. I can't believe somehow numbers got back to stage without getting hit by any of them. He that. was too busy swinging. All right. Slingshot to keep him out a little bit. Numbers trying to work his way in. Actually, he's still playing a little on the aggressive side considering he's got the lead right now, but I assume it's to get stage control, get that deep breathing up, and. And I, I do just want to say that's something we've seen numbers do quite a bit. He'll run up into uh, Pokemon's space when he's getting ready with that Lloyd Rocket, and then grabs him and uses the invincibility from the grab to avoid the Lloyd Rocket hitbox. Mm -hmm. Very good play on that one, because oftentimes you will trade with that, and it's not a crazy amount of damage, but at a high percent like this, you do give up the stage oftentimes doing so. Oh, jump over the header. Making use of the crouch here. Very low, difficult to hit with Slingshot, and that is one of the main neutral tools of Pokemon. Oh, and Numbers now has the stage control. Possibly, can he get this edge guard? In the end, Pokalem gets back to stage, oh. and Numbers shielding all of that. Pokalem seems to be at a loss for how exactly he can get this situation turned around. Numbers with a beautiful tech, he's staying alive, and none of these hits oh, are the connecting. Oh. Forward smash to down smash to up smash? Oh my gosh. T it took us through the whole, like, the, the tour mm -hmm. of all the smash attacks.
Welcome to Smashville. <laughs> these are my Smashville pets. There are many others like it, but these ones are mine. <laughs> so now, uh, oh, oh sir. Fine. yeah, okay. That, that I think that was still deep breathing. You're dead. You're very dead. Was it? Was he caught in the startup frames of Dash? Is that what it was? I'm not sure. It sounded like he had been running away for a while here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so running. All right. He might have been. I think Hold he might have been. So we can't. You I don't can know. still don't cancel know. that into a spot dodge, right? Uh, right. No, he, he had the shield. shield. He dropped it. Did he? He missed time to parry, I guess? No, so here's the thing. If you buffer a parry, you can't buffer parries. So how that works is that if he flicked the shield early before his dash ended, he would have buffered the shield input, which means there were no parry frames there. Oh. So that's what happened. That's why, because that would have been a parry if he had timed it normally. But because that was a buffer, no parry. He's dead. All right. We got the ledge set up right here. Very patient. John taking the ledge right back. Good call. Takes a little bit of percent. He will return to his home. Good wall jumps as well. <laughs> yeah, that person is just like, this feels like a Mario Party minigame of like, dodge the ball. Mm -hmm. Grab the ledge. <laughs> Kill the Wii Fit. Oh, see, look at that dodge. Oh, man. And I, I'm wondering what stage... Oh, we actually can get a look at what stage his numbers, man. Yeah, definitely Kalos makes a lot of sense. And I can understand also why he wouldn't want to be on FD. But at the same time, these alleges, it feels like it's a trade-off. But for the most part, working out for numbers right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen a lot of uh, stuff being dropped down by Pokalam here to try to catch something. But it just hasn't stuck. John has avoided pretty much everything. I feel like that we've got to see it has to crack at some point, right? Maybe. It's hard to say, man. John spends a lot of his time at the ledge. Nine to five, you know what I mean? All right. But, no, not quite. All right. He's trying his best here. John at 130%, so he is doing work on this one, but he's just not finding the kill hit he's looking for. Play pot. Bowling ball. Oh, finally yeah, clipped him. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, even though that was still a lot of, like, trying to make that work, Pokalane with a very commanding first stock pretty much had the stage the entire time. Some numbers on the back foot on this one. Uh, oh, no. Actually, saved his life! Saved his life. Numbers also, like, he is really, really threading it with that bowling ball. Like, he's like, the hoops are touching it, but it's not actually touching his hurt box. So he is extremely precise and careful. And I mean, like, when you are recovering, like, on a razor's edge like that, that precision is absolutely necessary. Absolutely. Oh, actually messes up the deep breathing. That's a big deal. Granted, this is a little bit of a higher percent, but that's the difference between, like, a dash attack killing and not killing. And that is important. See, or that backer would have back yeah. killed. Granted, I don't know if deep breathing would have still been up. It's not that long. Uh, I, th I think it would have just barely been enough. Maybe. In order because deep breathing, the button. timer for deep breathing actually stands, along with the move. Okay. He got stuck so long. Mm -hmm. He reeled back for like a minute after clanking with that. Oh, converts off of the wood. Very okay. nice. Deep 143. Breathing. Let's see if he can make something work here. Tries to go for the forward air, but doesn't quite find it. Sitting at a lot of extra credit on this one. Pokalam's looking pretty good. Even if he gets knocked out now, this is a lot of extra work on this next dog. Oh! Actually traded in his favor! I think it was too close and it exploded still close enough to hit him. Yeah, that's massive for Pokalam. He now go. Th this is this is the sort of thing where he can absolutely play whatever kind of game he feels comfortable with. At 156, percent he st it still feels like numbers are struggling to take the stock. And even if he does, he has an entire another stock to work with. Mm -hmm. All right, F tilt out of shield that will definitely close it out. We'll see a sun salutation charge, but no deep breathing quite yet. Perhaps leaving it so he's not getting the invincibility. There it is. Yeah, right, he's know, back on it. Normally, we fit can like this stage because of those ledge. When she crouches on uh, those ledges that angle down, she can dodge a lot of moves. However, Villager has uh, has no problem hitting her. You see that a lot of the times he goes for a uh, you know dash attack near the ledge or just very specific timings. Mm -hmm. And so that's not an option that you know sometimes numbers likes to do. Pokalim's not letting him, not affording him the chance to uh, take advantage of it at all. There are pretty much always hitboxes coming out when John tries to make it back. He's just got to focus on his own survival on this one. All right. Oh no! Right. Oh Fine. no! <laughs> I'm not sure he wanted that. I mean, I think he just wanted to get to game three. Maybe. 
It may have also been, that may have been a very, very, very good spacing from Pokolam just outside of get-up attack Oh, range. I am sure. Pokolam does that really well. He loves baiting people into going for get-up attack. It's like, oh, wow, you're so close. I could just hit you. Yeah. So we see him just outside. Actually, he might have tried to catch the axe because his hand would have been a little bit forward with the Let's hurt take a box. look at that. Oh, never mind. I don't think we have enough time. Uh, Let's move to the next game here. Yep, we're going into... Oh, uh, what was I, the stage I thought pick? I heard, I I think I heard Metal Gear music. I'm not certain. Three, two, it's yes. Battlefield. All right. Now, I will say that the, the tri-plat layout last time around, I think it... I don't know. I, I felt like it was benefiting Pokalam, but granted, I feel like that stage, it's hard to separate you know, uh, <laughs> Yoshi's story from the fact that those ledges existed, mm -hmm. and which made it so that Numbers was not able to weave in to dodge those bowling balls. Yeah. It ended up becoming like a real timing game every time. Yeah, I think that's a big deal for this one, is being able to tuck into under the stage for this one may make a big deal for recovering, because like 90% of that match was spent at the ledge with Pokalam edge guarding. All right, so we see the ledge trap once again, catches the get-up attack. Oh, Big no. damage, yeah, and the tree is preventing him from get pushing himself further back. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of percent on there. Good reward. Actually catches the volleyball as it comes back. I think that that might have either been the tree or that might have been the wind box from Sun Salutation. Could have been either. All right, tossing the axe, playing it slow right now. Got a little bit of a percent lead, but if Wii Fit gets the right hit, that can blow up in an instant. Yeah, deep still. breathing, not an effect. I feel like Numbers, you know, is not going to waste going for deep breathing when he still hasn't figured out a real way to crack open this defense from Poco Lamb. Mm -hmm. And I like how even though he's not committing to anything right now, he's still holding the majority of the stage as best he can. He's not, like, actively giving it up because that allows Poco Lamb to run in, try to push him to the ledge, and then he's back at square one. Range. Sun Salutation can get a little bit of percent back with the healing on that one. It's not something that he can do reliably because Pokalam's got those projectiles to uh, wreck himself at a range. But what? Yep, it's still active. It's very active. Right, he's back in time before the bowling ball is in play, taking himself back off the ledge, trying to look for an opportune time to get back. Again. Half tilted off. Yeah, once again with that umbrella and Numbers has been struggling to... Hey, Pokalam was holding back while Numbers had, you know, his Sun Salutation charge and all that. But then as soon as some Numbers threw it out and he started charging again, that's when Pokalam started to close the distance. And now he has Numbers trapped at the ledge here, just over and over again, these moves coming out. Finally, Numbers finds a single hit, but doesn't even use it to uh, get back to stage. Mm. He's just like, defaulting the position because oftentimes if you guess wrong on that one, you get hit by a forward air and you're knocked off stage with a little extra uh, percent for your troubles. Oh, no, going a little hard on that one. That slingshot was so important. An off stage play right now could be death. Yo, there Poco it is. Pokolam. Okay. The ball is in numbers court. Let's see how Pokolam could potentially close this gap before it starts to widen. And now we might see from the ledge here the same sort of thing that Sinji was going for, just like little bits and pieces at a time. That might wear Pokalam down. Because now at this point, John has the lead. So even if the stock gets knocked down and gets returned to neutral, this is all just extra credit. Yeah, so numbers, you see that because it was yep, pocketed, tough. he didn't have access to the volleyball, and that meant that uh, Pokalam was able to just, you know, mm -hmm. hit him yep. for trying to even attempt it. Yeah, the only thing he could have gone for was Sun Salutation on that one. Actually throws in the Lloyd Rocket to combo break. That's sick. All right, that's very good, too, because you don't want to eat those uh, deep breathing combos. That's real big damage. Right. Dash attack on that one actually catches the return to stage with the up air. We fit surprisingly fast, keeping him off stage. This could be big. <gasps> oh. Oh, this could be big, though. Off oh, no. Oh, whistles. No, doesn't quite get him with the spike hitbox, but I'm sure he was looking for it. Not even the, the volleyball itself connected. No. That means that Pokalam is back on stage, and that means he can leverage some of that control into a lot of damage. But Yo, what happened with his shirt? Uh, I saw that. I saw that. He got a skirt. That shirt turned into a skirt. I'm going to need to see that back after this game. Okay. Regardless of the clothing choices, <laughs> Numbers looking like he's going to wear Pokalam as a hat after this game. Oh, he's going to skin him alive. He's sitting at oh, that percent, but, but he But has trains. the hunter become the hunted? Numbers getting knocked so far away by that one bowling ball. Another one of those, especially at the ledge, could do it. Pokalam knowing that, trying to push his advantage a little bit more. 
Numbers keeping himself locked down in the corner has already taken 76%. Mm -hmm. He's going back to the ledge. He's trying to get these resources up, but Pokalam with the full stage will take them up. We'll get the header volleyball. Actually sends it back with the board. Oh. I thought we were going to see an F tilt of some kind, but no numbers. Just He's being a little more careful. All right. Delays as best he can. <laughs> Actually extends his hitbox on the balloon. That's smart. But it still didn't connect, and numbers having to go. He dodges it. God. Not gonna dodge that one. All right. And I would like to point out that Pokalam brought that back from like 60% on that stock. He just wore him down. And now we have a game three last stock situation. Zero percent apiece here. And it's worth oh, no, noting. You don't want to do that. Last time these guys played, Pokalam took it. As far as I know. So this is Numbers chance for redemption here. Can he leverage it? Mm -hmm. It looks like he's getting a little aggressive trying to put the percentage on here and Pokalam is just playing his game. Also, time. We have to pay attention to the time. A minute 45. And yep. this is the sort of game, especially based on how these two are playing right now, we can easily see it go to time. And that means every hit here matters so much. Mm -hmm. And we see just a little bit chips here and there. This is looking difficult for Numbers right now, but it's not so much of a deficit that he can't bring it back really Whoa. quick. Okay. All right. Oh, the hard read on that one. Pokalam just going a little bit farther than Numbers was ready for. Numbers, if he gets the grab at this percent, this is really bad. This is a lot of potential damage on the table until that deep breathing runs out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, but that down there going through the platform, saving Pokalam. Mm -hmm. And now we're at the point where there's about 70 seconds left on the clock. John Numbers at 94, though. Okay. John trying not to get these extra percent here because if he gets sent off stage at this percent... No! No, that's, that's it! it. Dash attacks right into it, and the tree comes down on his head. Timber, that's going to be numbers falling into loser's bracket. Oh, my goodness. I, I wasn't ready for that, man. There was no timber shout. Why didn't you do that before? I was like, he's dead. What happened? Why is he dead? Can we actually, I want to get a replay on that last. Oh, wait. Yes, let us see. Let us see the good sport. All right, eye contact is made. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Can we make that an HO3K emo? HO3K fist bump? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, let's not throw John into the fire. I think perhaps that that was a last minute mix up of. No, no, no. <laughs> it doesn't really. Is that a consistent thing? Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, I also want to point out, like, let's really deconstruct this because, as as much as this final play, uh, the fist bump. Uh, let's go back, yeah, go back yeah. to the fist bump here. Um, notice that not only is the fist uh, unformed, uh, what could be best described as limp, <laughs> it's the wrist that makes contact. He doesn't want to form his man into a fist, but still wants to have some measure of like weight behind it. So he just sticks his wrist into his fist. I Could you? <laughs> I, I'm not qualified to talk about fist bump technique. 